All the elements of that scene of violence, which was right in the parking strip right behind me, have been picked up by investigators. Deputies say it started around 8.30 in this morning with a call to 911. Major crime investigators are focusing on a Mercedes sedan surrounded by evidence markings that are typically used when there's a shooting. But deputies are keeping mum on saying it was one, revealing very little about the case. It's an unusual uh, circumstance here, an unusual uh, homicide, and it's a quiet neighborhood. Police are not elaborating on why it is unusual. A suspect is still at large, but there was no neighborhood search for one once police arrived. At this time, we don't have any reason to believe that there's any threat to public safety or any public safety concern. Unusual was the key word of the day. Unusual and really unfortunate and really, really sad. Says one neighbor two homes away from the homicide. She didn't see or hear anything, but is accepting it as a sign of the times. I'm going to find that anywhere, um, especially as gun laws are what they are. It's sad when people get their hands on deadly devices. I find it disturbing, but you know, it's not rocking my boat too much. Another neighbor, Randy, also calls the homicide unfortunate, but not unexpected. He, like most neighbors we spoke with, speculated on the reasons why here. There are pe people, homeless people in their cars, been throwing trash out there. Uh, there's a drug program, a methadone program over on Aurora. And those people sometimes will drift over here. And, you know, you, I found syringes and fits and stuff like that. The number of reports of shots fired in King County this year is up 16% and the number of shooting victims is up nearly 5%. The investigation at the scene lasted just a few hours and ended when the Mercedes was towed away to the evidence yard for further investigation. While deputies are being tight-lipped about information on this case, it appears just by their actions they know a lot more than what they're telling us. There is no suspect information or suspect car information, and right now this neighborhood is returned to its quietness as they speak. In Shoreline, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.